In this video, we will look at how to perform X-ray scatter and leakage measurements on diagnostic X-ray systems with the RTI Scatter Probe. X-ray scatter and leakage occurs in all forms of diagnostic X-ray equipment, and it is important to accurately measure these levels in compliance with regulation to ensure the safety of patients and staff. To measure X-ray leakage, first close the collimation on the X-ray tube to prevent the normal output of X-ray. Measuring X-ray leakage typically requires five different positions of the scatter probe at the front, rear, anode side, cathode side, and above the X-ray tube. The scatter probe can be set up at one meter from the X-ray source focal spot. Make an X-ray exposure. The X-ray system should be configured to the highest clinically available setting. On the display device, the scatter probe will automatically trigger on detecting X-ray leakage and display values immediately. Air Kerma rate can be read out if using continuous X-ray or Air Kerma for single exposure mode. To measure X-ray scatter, first set up an X-ray scattering object in the X-ray beam. This should be representative of the relevant patient or body part that is scanned in the X-ray system. A typical routine is to measure X-ray scatter where staff and operators would be situated, such as behind the lead glass. Make an X-ray exposure. The X-ray system should be configured to the highest clinically available setting to represent the greatest X-ray scatter that can be produced from the system. On the display device, the scatter probe will automatically trigger on detecting scattered X-ray and displays values immediately. If an area of interest needs to be further investigated, the scatter probe can be used in free run mode and held using the handle provided. Move the scatter probe slowly around the area of interest during X-ray exposure. The clicking noise and LED lights on the scatter probe will indicate measurement intensity and values will update automatically on the display. 